What the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> this is like that Moscow hotel room where a bunch of whores pissed all over Donald Trump. <laughs> I mean, this is what you get for being Alex's friend. <laughs> On nights like these, you expect your friends, the people you've worked with closely, to show up. Tina Fey, Tracy Morgan, <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine, Meryl Streep. Not one. Instead, we have a group, uh, <laughs> you can't even find them on uh, Wikipedia. <laughs> and, 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 like, who are these people? I mean, who the f are you? <laughs> I mean, Ann Coulter, everybody. <laughs> Nikki is what's known as a dirty comedian. And I don't mean her material. I mean, she hasn't washed a pussy since Memorial Day. <laughs> Sean Hayes. Where's I'm over Sean? here. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Goodfellas, uh, and I'm guessing Sean has also been in Goodfellas. <laughs> uh, and some bad fellas. And more than a few sailors. I'm sure. <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner, now there's something different about you, but I, I can't, I can't put my finger in it. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Comedy Central wanted to have Caitlyn on a roast after her surgery, so now they can pay her 20% less. When I did Raging Bull, I had to gain 60 pounds in four months. Jeff, what's your excuse? <laughs> <laughs> Ken DeJong once stopped his stand-up show to help a woman in the audience who was having a seizure. Hey, if a seizure is what it takes to stop him from doing stand-up, I'm for that. <laughs> and now, for the only true movie star on this stage, me. Critics say I have a unique quality as an actor. I actually like Alec Baldwin. <laughs> and I'm happy to be here for Alec, but honestly, I'm here to teach Chris Redd, Caitlyn Jenner, and Blake Griffin how to f black women. <laughs> <laughs> You've starred in huge blockbuster movies, Alec, and now you're hosting a f***ing game show? Yeah. <laughs> I'd say you're about a year and a half away from doing commercials for reverse mortgages. <laughs> One thing I love about Alec is that, like the subway pizza rat and crazy people fighting over parking spaces, he's quintessential New York. <laughs> he is. <laughs> kind of like Woody Allen, except Alec only screamed at his daughter, and Woody, well, uh, I don't know, he, I don't know. <laughs> Alec, I want to thank you for inviting me to do this. Now Rocky and Bullwinkle won't be the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. <laughs> and I have to mention Alec's great portrayal of Donald Trump on SNL. He fucking nails it. <laughs> Exposing Trump for the ridiculous, malignant, narcissist, bully, sociopath he is. It's not fair, though, because Alec doesn't even have to act to do that. Uh, Alec, you're so convincing. I want to punch both of you in the face. Alec, you're a good sport. And I know I've been rough on you, but I also love you. And I say that now because, like Robert Kraft at a massage parlor, I want my roast to have a happy ending. <laughs> Salud.